always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, CBS4 Chief Weather Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera joins us once more. Ivan, cold out there now, but not for too long. Thank no. goodness. Yeah, right. I mean, it's just <laughs> been. I, I don't. I don't have much light in the in the house. And uh, I tell you what, the last couple of days have felt like just a you know, continuous midnight. Right. 56 degrees right now in uh, Miami. That is the high for uh, today. We should be in the upper 70s till this time of year. Boy, that uh, record 88 doesn't uh, sound so bad uh, anymore. Right. 59 on Saturday on Christmas Eve. We didn't. Well, we barely cracked 50 degrees on Christmas. That was the coldest Christmas high temperature. Uh, since we've been keeping records and then for today 56 that three day stretch of sub zero 60. Well, we haven't done that since 77. So, uh, well, at least we can say we're living through history and maybe that feels better. But uh, there you go. Temps in the 50s and the rain continues. And uh, in fact, more where that came from, right? Everything's coming from southwest to northeast. And so this plume of moisture with this disturbance here really just is getting cranked up now. So all of the keys and then, of course, into Miami-Dade and into Broward as well. We're going to continue with the rainfall. You see some uh, colors in yellow. They're indicating some heavier showers and they won't be steady heavy rain, but uh, we'll continue to see pockets of that and then a little dry pockets here and there. So not completely filled in, but does it matter? I mean, it's just it's brutal out there with temperatures holding into the 50s. There you see our model continuing this for not just three hours, but I think we'll continue into the uh, overnight hours and temperatures will be stuck in the upper 50s beginning to see a pattern change for tomorrow. I think we'll still wake up with rainfall. We'll still wake up with cool temperatures, although not as cold as we've had. And then we transition into this drier pattern as the jet stream lifts up to the north. We're going to have an area of high pressure pushing east. The key as well is our wind direction. It has been coming from the north here. And so long as that's the case, we can't moderate the temperatures. We need uh, the water, the Atlantic Ocean to give us, uh, you know, uh, some uh, heating here and that will happen towards the middle end of the week, particularly Thursday and Friday. I think by then we'll have temperatures uh, easily going into the 80s. I'll put this in a motion for the rest of not just the evening, but for the next two days. And notice this, the rain goes over this 6 a.m. now tomorrow. The rain begins to push out. We'll still have some showers in the forecast, but even the cloud cover begins to break out. How about some sun tomorrow? That's going to feel and uh, look fantastic after we've been stuck in you know, Pacific Northwest kind of weather here the last uh, couple of days. All right. so. Forecast head for uh, tomorrow. Temperatures doing better here in the upper 60s. That is still 10 degrees below average for this time of year. But look at the numbers even in the evening for New Year's Eve in the 70s. So looking fantastic. And when temperatures in the 70s in the evening, that means 80s. And that's coming for us towards the end of the week with temperatures now going above average after Thursday. Highs back in the low 80s.